first thing I need to do is identify an exchange that I want to use. So I'm going to choose Binance just because I know that there are a lot of trading pairs there. And now I'm going to head over here to Better Trader IO's free Better Crypto Scanner. This is a free market volatility scanner that is amazing. So I'm going to choose Binance as my exchange. I want to focus on the BTC market. I want to look for spreads that are greater than 20%, which means it's going to show me all of the trading pairs that have had really big moves over the last 24 hours. And now I want to choose the spread to be high versus low. So now I can see here that I got lots of these that have pumped recently. DNT, Lazio, Porto, Gala, all of these have had big, big, big pumps. After checking out a lot of these trading pairs, this one seems like the best one. Doge has been in a very strong uptrend because of recent news about Twitter. I'm looking for a quick trade and I want to see if I can just take profit here at 5%. The indicator that I'm using right here is called the trending breakout indicator, the TBO, and I use this for all of my trades. Essentially what it does is it tells me the strength of the trend and where the trend might be changing so I'm going to be using this chart to figure out if this is going to be a great one to trade. Now, honestly, if it wasn't for this explainer video, I probably wouldn't touch this yet. It's a little bit on the overbought side, but knowing how crazy these charts can go, especially on faster timeframes, these charts can just start to move up all of a sudden. So we're going to look to take profit real quick at like 3% or so, or 4%, just to make a quick trade. So I'm looking at the price here. It's at 604 on Binance. So I'm going to go back over here to three commas. I'm going to choose Dogecoin and I'm going to go ahead and hard it because I think I might want to trade this one again. It brings up my balance in Bitcoin. It shows me the current price. I want to click here on bid so that way I get a good price and I have to choose how much do I want to trade for this one. So I'll go ahead and trade 0.02 BTC for it. I really just want to take profit at 4% to make a quick little profit. But let's say that what if it goes up a little bit higher? So I'm going to use split targets and I'm going to see if I can squeeze out a little bit more profit. So I'm going to take profit as well up here at 660 or just below it. So I'm going to type in 66. I don't like round numbers. I would rather it be an odd number like that. So I'm going to choose 9%. Then I'm going to hit take profit target like that. And just in case it starts to move up a little bit higher, I want to enable trailing take profit. Now I need to be conservative because I don't want to just be bullish. I need to make sure that I'm realistic. And if the price does come down, I want to make sure that I get stopped out. So I'm going to use just some quick technical analysis to look at the chart to see, oh, well, if the price happens to break below this trend line, then I'd be down and out. That would be it, at least for this short-term trade. So I'm going to place my stop loss at around 575 on three commas. Note my risk to reward ratio is bad. 1.128 is not that good. What it really should be is probably the higher number of 658, putting it all up there. So if I left it at 658, we could see that this ratio is almost one to two. That's just a bit better. And now it's at two or one to two. This is much better. But again, for the purpose of this video, I want to make sure that I'm taking profit quickly and I'm okay to have a poor risk to reward ratio for the example of this video. I do want to use move to break even because when the price moves up 4%, then where my stop loss currently was, which would be down here, it's going to automatically be moved up to my base order position. So when the price continues to move up, if it actually can't, it's going to fall down and I'm going to get stopped out in profit. So I'm happy with this trade. I'm going to go ahead and hit create trade. Now I have a note here that this is my three commas academy tutorial video and I can hit save. Note when I hit this now, because I've set a limit order, it's going to be sent directly to the exchanges and it will only get filled when the price or my limit order has enough volume to be filled. And note that it was filled right away. So this pair has a lot of volatility right now, mainly because there's a lot of excitement, but you'd be surprised to find that some of the best charts to trade are the ones that are the most volatile. And now I can see my profit in action. So already it's fallen 1% again, because it's 
a very, very volatile trade right now, but it doesn't mean that I'm gonna be freaking out. So I've already set up my trading plan, but I can decide to intervene if I want to. I can click the three buttons and decide to edit my order. If I decide that, ah, uh, I wanna move my stop loss a little bit lower, I can. If I want to change one of these numbers, so that way it's not six to eight, I can change it instead to 4.5, and I can set my target there. I can make all these changes and I can save it even while it's in process, even while I'm waiting for it to close. Other options that I have are adding funds, reducing funds, closing at market price, which is a panic sell, editing, which I just did, sharing it with someone else, or canceling the order. Let me just go through these real quickly. Canceling the order means that I'm still left with the tokens. I still have Doge. Nothing's changed. I'm still going to be holding on to these tokens. So if I hit cancel, it means I still have them on the exchange. If I want to get rid of them, I choose close at market price. Now, this one, add funds, reduce funds, is interesting. What this does is it allows me to buy more of Doge at a lower price, either with a market order or I can choose a limit order. So if I decide, no, I don't want to get stopped out at 4%, wherever that was, at about here, I actually want to apply another order to buy some more because I think it's going to go higher. So let's go ahead and place another buy order right about here at 578. So we're going to choose the limit order of 578, and I'm going to choose to add another 0.02 at this price, which shows me that it's just 4% of my portfolio. Now note, I'm going to have to be careful about this because if I have a stop loss in play and an add funds order, that's not good. I don't want to buy more down here at 578 and then get stopped out. So if this is the way I'm going to be trading it, I'm going to need to edit my order and I'm going to either have to remove my stop loss completely if I'm going to follow DCA principles, or I'm going to have to move this down a lot more. So you have a lot of flexibility with how you can trade using three commas smart trade terminal. One thing to note is that if you're new to trading and you jump into a trade, nine times out of 10, it's going to start off in red like this. This isn't upsetting me at all, mainly because I've been trading for a long time and if I think that I've done my, my good due diligence and I've looked at the trade, I've looked at the chart, I've looked at the trend, and to me it seems like things are going to be moving up, then I'm just going to stick to the trend and wait it out. The worst thing you can do as a new trader is to intervene right away. There's an expression that's incredibly useful to remember. Plan the trade and trade the plan. Three commas lets you figure out where you want to enter, where you want to exit for profit, or exit in a loss. Trust the trading plan that you set up and just wait for it to execute. Nine times out of 10, when I have ever intervened and said, ah, I think this, oh, I think that, oh, I think that. You know what? Sometimes those are going to end up being profitable trades that I intervened in because I got scared, because I thought, uh, you know what? This isn't a good idea. So another tip, if you're brand new to trading and you're not sure about this platform still, use a small amount or better yet, sign up and get access to the paper trading account. That way you can use fake money to try out your ideas, to try out the tools, to see how they work and perform before you risk your own real funds. Well, that wraps up this section on smart trade on three commas. I hope you've learned a lot and I hope you're ready for the next installment here on Three Commas Academy. And it's gonna be on DCA bots. Stay tuned, get ready, let's go.